seriously? Person of Interest is only getting 13 more episodes? Why? It's one of the best shows on television. Oh, wait, I just answered my own question. Good shows don't last on network TV. Only crap. Proof? Castle just got renewed for its eighth season. What's Castle? Exactly. It's a mystery show so boring it might as well be British. Um. Eighth season? I thought it was canceled years ago when they were just playing reruns. Just like that other dull who done it, Bones. The name suits it because it's just a skeleton of a procedural format. Supernatural is getting an 11th season. 11 years of two guys in tight t-shirts. These shows are the Nickelback of TV series. I'm pretty sure they keep getting made because they shoot after hours when all the execs have gone home. Law and Order SVU is going into its 17th season. 17 seasons? Their plots are like brushing your teeth, a routine you can follow even drunk. Castle, what a piece of shit. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Crap. Dull characters, convoluted plots, too boring to follow, and a general lack of real excitement makes the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as thrilling as the Agents of Insurance. Big Bang Theory. Try listening one time while tuning out the laugh track. You wonder what the hell you were laughing at. Gotham. Outside of Jim Gordon, Bruce Wayne, Alfred, and the Catwoman girl, the acting rarely exceeds the level of a high school play. The stories are routine, and the dialogue makes comic books read like Faulkner. Modern Family. It's won Emmys and seen as groundbreaking. Why? I like about one third of this show. The parts with Al Bundy and Sofia Vergara. They have a feel of authenticity and comedy that arises from real life. The rest of the show? Crap! Recycled stock characters and shticky situations that were old before Betty White hit puberty. And the landmark gay couple that everyone raves about? Please. In real life, gay people have made enormous strides, but on TV they still act like Monroe from Too Close for Comfort. Sure, one half of the couple is a football coach, but who acts like a 1950s sitcom mom in a man's body. I work with a lot of gay men, and almost all of them are men who are gay, not gay men. This is sophisticated comedy. The general level of humor is as inventive as Funny's Pud. But the always imaginative, well-written, exciting person of interest with amazing characters, great acting, sharp dialogue, and evolving stories is being ushered out the door with a measly half a fifth season. CBS says they don't know if it'll be the final season, but don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. A show the network really supports gets more than 13 episodes. The main reason for this decision is greed. Unlike crap like the seven season Mentalist series, CBS doesn't own person of interest, so they'd rather make room for some network owned shite they can milk for syndication. One bright spot is that person of interest won't be returning until mid season next year. By which time, all the network's bright and shiny new fall shows will be dead, and the veteran series will show them how it's done.